to this tutorial about uh, how to make an uh, NPC for your private house in Simfa. Uh, for that you need uh, three little things. Uh, first, uh, three windows with a special link. This one with this link about uh, the script list the script list for the private house and uh, in the script list you need uh, the list about uh, uh, to turn a usable plus up into an animated NPC okay uh, like you see you have uh, all the information here uh, you need to make it after you need also uh, the Simfa web client open to facilitate uh, the use of the codes and also uh, for the VFX if you want it on if you want it on your NPC uh, you must go to the lexicon here and uh, go to constant constants and on the constants you choose VFX Dur and you have uh, all the VFX you need like uh, Aura Blue with uh, the number of the VFX you need uh, to put on the variable on your NPC uh, after that you need also to open uh, your Aurora and the uh, module of your house okay and uh, the area and when you have all that uh, you must to create a special plus uh, me I call it uh, NPC animated because this is a NPC animated so simply uh, I show you an example I open the property of my plus sum and uh, I show you the information you can put inside. We wait just a little few seconds. Uh, okay, it's open. So here you can uh, choose the name of your placer. For the simplicity, I choose uh, NPC animated and I give the tag NPC animated. I choose a simple uh, plus hub, uh, very uh, useful to your uh, uh, NPC. Uh, you must have uh, this one thing um, a usable pass tab, okay? After you must use the scripts and of the scripts in simply you put this script, okay? You make a copy and a paste and you put it on the on hard bit on your placeable. After you go to advanced and you go to variable, okay, uh, for uh, for better uh, use, you enlarge your window and you enlarge here and here, and you can see uh, all the information you need for your uh, NPC animated. Uh, you find all this information uh, here. Okay, this is uh, all the variable you can use to make your NPC. Uh, so you you must copy all of it, all of them, uh, and uh, put into the, the variable okay uh, and you must respect uh, by example uh, the variable for animation this is an integer uh, for the I mean, animation speed this is a float and uh, for MR appearance by example this is a string okay to change it you click here you integer float string okay uh, so uh, I show you um, the variable uh, one by one to help you. Uh, by example, uh, many people uh, asked me to have a dancer. 
uh, to have it, it's easy. You need something, so you open um, your uh, game, okay? Uh, you and with your character, okay? Uh, you click on the uh, player tool on your character. You go to emote, by example, social emote, and uh, dance, and you choose, by example, uh, the solo dance, okay? You, you click, okay, and now you dance. Uh, to have the information about the phenotype and um, the number of the animation, it's so simple. Type here interrogation point E and info, and you have the number of the phenotype. So for this animation, the phenotype is zero. And the number of the animation. For the animation, this is uh, 102 for solid dance. Okay, when you have the information, it's simply you put into uh, your variable. So for animation, it's 102, so you write 102 and simply you replace. Okay, and after for your phenotype. We see it's zero, this is the same manipulation, you tape zero, you selection, you tape zero, and replace, okay? Now, this is for the animation. Uh, you want, uh, you can change the speed of your animation. Uh, so, by example, uh, you want an animation more fast, so you can type uh, uh, one point uh, two, okay, and you click replace. And now uh, your and your PC uh, your NPC in game uh, dance more fast. Okay, uh, the usual is one. Okay, so we replace and it's better. Uh, after you can um, you want uh, your NPC uh, have an armor an armor uh, an outfit something. Uh, you click on armor appearance. Okay. And uh, you go on the game, uh, you stop dancing with uh, jiggles, and after you speak to the tailoring model, okay, you go to the one, change the armor appearance, you modify, you modify the model's armor, you make uh, what you need, and at the end, you go on the five, speak the complete appearance code, click, okay, and you see the code here, but to uh, for more easier sync, you go to here on the Simfa web client and in simply you have your code here, you selection it, copy and on Aurora it's simply you click here, you paste and replace. And now you have the code of the, the cross the tailoring model. Okay? After you do the, the same thing uh, for the body appearance, you go on the game, you quit, you go to see his brother, <laughs> the body tailoring model, and here what you see, speak the complete body appearance code. You click, you take it on the website Sinfar client, okay, selection, copy, and on Aurora selection and first replace okay now you have the body appearance be careful because the body appearance is under the armor appearance by example if you have a body appearance with a blue skin uh, with the armor appearance on it the blue skin disappear to stay uh, the kernel skin uh, this color, in fact, uh, I show you this color, this body color on the armor. Uh, so be careful with that because uh, it's not very uh, beautiful uh, to see uh, just a blue head and uh, all the all the body in uh, in pink <laughs> carnation. Okay, uh, after. Uh, the gender of the body model. Uh, it's very simple. The zero is for male and the one is for uh, female. Okay? 
uh, so we have a male so this is zero okay this is an integer after the anim uh, head v2 this is the head of your npc that you want uh, very simple too you go to the game uh, you choose on the body model uh, modifying the model appearance you go to body parts add new okay uh, you choose your head you choose the color and when uh, all is finished you speak the complete appearance code you go on the simfa web client and the same thing selection copy and paste selection again paste replace okay it's very simple so we have the phenotype uh, after you want uh, your NPC said uh, say a message to your uh, players so it's very easy this is a string okay T talk to message about your NPC a string and you put uh, the dialogue here like you want uh, by example I put hello I, li I like I like your trace lady and uh, you you click on replace to have the line here okay uh, for the end, uh, you want a VFX on your uh, NPC. Uh, you can find a lot of it on the lexicon. Uh, by example, uh, I take uh, the aura blue, and the number of the VFX is uh, uh, 550. Okay, and you you see the example here. Okay. And you put it here, okay, the number, replace, and when uh, you are in game, your NPC has the aura blue on it, okay? Uh, when you, f you finish all that, you say okay, okay, and now your plaster is ready. Um, uh, just one thing uh, before I forget uh, uh, you can use also um, on the you can use also the um, a VFX uh, um, uh, 2D uh, to have the list of the VFX available on the um, how to say that I give you an example I got my desk and uh, by example uh, uh, where well, I have that okay uh, visual effect okay I open it okay and and now you have the list of uh, all the VFX for Simfar here okay uh, and you choose uh, the one uh, you want uh, normally, at the end of the of the list, uh, you have uh, the VFX uh, for the menu for the on the tools player, okay? Like uh, tiefling, tiefling uh, horns, etc. Et uh, veil, uh, heavy, got okay. Now you have an ID, so you must choose uh, the good uh, number here, okay, for your VFX, and uh, at the end uh, put it uh, on the variable, uh, on the variable uh, VFX here, okay. Uh, you can uh, have uh, more than one variable. Uh, by example, if you want uh, your NPC have a parrot on his, on his shoulder, uh, you can put another NPC. Uh, it's simply you change the number, we have an NPC zero, a VFX zero, now you want a VFX uh, one with a number uh, by hazard uh, 102, uh, no, no replace, my god, I make a mistake, zero and it's 650, remplace it, hop, hello, uh, and here you you click on a uh, new one okay so now you have two VFX uh, available on your on your NPC okay so for here I, I cut it because I don't need it okay um, 
and uh, for the end uh, um, I think it's good uh, you can see just one thing you have uh, more um, more va variable here uh, because I don't choose all the variable by example I don't choose the the talk to animation I don't choose this one uh, and I don't choose the uh, talk to sound uh, usually I don't use but you can use it okay uh, after I don't know where you can find the the, 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 um, the tag of the song or, or the rest ref of the song of the an, uh, animation uh, talk to uh, okay uh, you saw you can uh, put a lot of uh, a lot of VFX here okay and uh, you have uh, little informations here to help you very util uh, and very usual okay uh, after uh, uh, you can also uh, make another type of NPC uh, this is the NPC the merchant uh, NPC uh, in fact, uh, using this script, okay, and the explanation is very simple here, okay. Turn the user placeable into a merchant NPC. Uh, the explanation is like uh, the first one about the NPC animated. Uh, but uh, after you must uh, make uh, more things uh, to have uh, um, a shop available for your players. Uh, maybe I I do another uh, explanation for uh, for uh, builders. But for the moment, it's uh, it's good, I think. So uh, I hope uh, that uh, tutorial uh, help you a lot and uh, enjoy uh, the, the work and uh, good uh, mapping. Bye-bye! <laughs>